here we are. We're uh, we're we're sort of coming into the home stretch of this show, and we're starting to think about like Thanksgiving is next week. But of course, you know, the whole holiday season is on everyone's minds right now. Um, so this year, uh, we want to preview the trendiest gifts mm -hmm. for 2020. Okay, and for that, we're going to welcome back, uh, of course, our lifestyle correspondent Andrew Knox. Right, we got to bring him back. Hey guys, Hi, thanks Andrew. for having me back. No hard feelings about earlier. You're forgiven. Okay, thanks. Sure. Um, Andrew, why don't you take us through, like, what are the hottest gifts for the 2020 holidays? What's it looking like out there? Okay, so this year, it's all about shirts. Shirts? Shirts, yeah. So some people, you might know them as blouses or tunics, but most people know them as shirts. Yeah, we know what shirts are. We're both wearing shirts right now. Yeah, and let's keep it that way, Nathan. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. I have three amazing shirts to share with you all today and not much time to do it. So Nathan and Natalie, I know you've probably heard me say the word sleeves before. Does that word ring a bell? Yes. Yeah, I know what okay. a sleeve is. Good. Well, this shirt really has them and they are long sleeves. In fact, this is called the long sleeved shirt and i'm talking hands meet your new friend cuffs because that is how far these sleeves go on the long sleeve shirt a way to contextualize it in your head is arm pants so you have pants for your legs well these are pants for your arms connected to a shirt okay i think it's probably fair to say that everyone watching has a long sleeve shirt andrew Oh, after these these holidays, they absolutely will. Long sleeve shirts like these are flying off the shelves. I went to my local local grocery store actually today, and they didn't have any. They're selling out everywhere. Yeah, but grocery stores don't sell shirts, Andrew. Yeah, well, how can they when they're sold out, Natalie? Right? Just you gotta. So let's move on. This next shirt I have is actually it's just fun. It is a fun shirt. This is a really fun shirt. It's called a T-shirt. And if you look closely, it is because it is in that same shape of that famous letter T. Now, it does still have four holes, one at the top, two on the sides, and then the big mouth one that swallows you when you put it on. So it is still technically a shirt. But what do you notice, Nathan and Natalie, about this one that sets it apart? Uh, the sleeves are shorter? No, actually, yes, yes, the sleeves are shorter. So this covers just your shoulders. So if you have gross shoulders, the t-shirt will work for you. But if you have gross elbows, like disgusting elbows, Nathan, this is not the shirt you want to go with. I, what? I don't have gross elbows. Yes, you do. How, how does he know that? How do you know that? It's the way he carries himself. Now, T-shirts are very popular with children. And why is that? That's because T-shirts are the cheapest of the, of the shirt family, and children are the poorest people in the world. In fact, if you do not factor in their parents' income, kids are the poorest people on earth. So they love T-shirts. Okay, but like parents could buy their gifts uh, an expensive long, like their kids an expensive like long sleeve shirt, like as a gift is what I'm saying, right? Like this season, this holiday season? I mean, I guess. <laughs> right, so if Nathan's finally done talking, last shirt that I have, and I'm actually modeling this one, it's called the button shirt. And what makes it different is it has been cut down the front by the manufacturer, presumably accidentally. And instead of using tape or glue to put it back together, they've just added buttons. So what does that do? It makes it more of a DIY shirt because you will actually have to button yourself up into it every single day. So if you are someone who's constantly late to work or behind the eight ball, this is not your shirt because it can take forever to get closed. Okay, well, uh, there you have it. That is the trendiest holiday gift of 2020. Uh, Andrew, I have to ask, is your Christmas list, uh, your list of Santa, all just full of shirts? <laughs> no, you're kidding. I'm getting a PS5, baby. Okay, Andrew, Andrew Knox, everybody. Thank you. Andrew Knox. More lifestyle advice from Andrew Knox. Wow.